What's going on guys? Giganato Gaming here and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed our Australian sauropod dude, the Diamantinosaur, which is somewhere back here. And you guys might be wondering, where is our D-Ark? Well, the uh, Prehistoric Beasts mod, or mods, have gotten an update recently, which apparently broke the game. So, I did have to remove those mods, otherwise the game would have just kept crashing. So, yeah, we don't have a D-Ark anymore, and I don't even think we have a Flyer anymore. No, we, we do have the RG. So we're gonna have to use the RG for the time being. In today's video, I'd like to go on a cave adventure. And depending on how how the cave goes, we might do some spino taming. Depending on how it goes. Alright, so let me just go ahead. Oh, I wanted to show you what I did off camera. I got some biotoxin together and made some shocking trank darts. Now, we're not going to use them yet unless we're taming. So, unless we're taming, they are staying in the fridge. So, what I'm going to do now is just, uh... I guess I could just use my crossbow for right now. It's right here. Alright. We'll use the crossbow for right now, and I'll just leave the rifle here. Alright. I want to go into the cave adventure for two reasons. Reason one, I want to get my first artifact... And reason two, I want to... Uh, why are you guys breeding? Yeah, I'm just going to put you here. We're going to have to use the Argentavis to get around now. As for the... Are you the... Yeah, you're the Nothosaurus I have to saddle for. Alright, so let me just go ahead and... Take you out. It feels weird using a flyer you can't shoot off the back of. I wish you could shoot off the back of it. So yeah... We're going to go ahead and take the Nothosaurus, and uh, we keep getting server hitches. Alright, anyway, I'm just going to throw you over here. There we go. You can stay there. Are we all... We're already out of food. Damn. Do you have any food inside of you? Yeah, you do. Let's go ahead and go into the volcano, see if we can find this cave, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, it feels weird being on a slower flyer. It really does feel weird. But it had to be done. It had to be done. Yeah, there's a red drop, or a yellow drop. Let's see what's in it. Just some mutton, some polymer, and some gasoline. Whatever. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Let's go, let's continue up here. I want to see if I can get a better rifle. So we can use our shocking trank darts. Because I'm pretty sure a primitive long neck rifle isn't as good as our journeyman crossbow. We've got a journeyman crossbow, I'd like to get a better one. we got an Archelon saddle. Oh yeah, didn't the Archelon get a TLC? We just got some steak Saut, Saut, or whatever it's called. Why do they make these names so hard to pronounce? Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, head over. I'll see you guys at the volcano. And uh, we'll see if we can find this cave. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I think it's... Like in the northern part of the cave. I'm not 100% certain. I know it's like inland. Now I could see why I don't use RGs, because stuff like this, very slow, compared to the D-Arc. Alright, do you have anything important in your inventory? I'll take the arrow, the one trank arrow, maybe the aloe brains, I'll take those. Everything else will drop. Good job, RG. Alright. Now this is where Mufasa comes in. We're gonna see if we can find this cave. I'm gonna save the game first. We're gonna see if we can find this cave. And then we're gonna go from there, all right. Very convenient. Save a tooth, piss off. That was a 130, we did 20,000 damage to it. That was probably with a headshot. 
drop that all so we can, you know, shed some weight. Okay, Scorpion, I'll be with you in a minute. Thank you. There we go. We got so much hide, so much keratin, it's not even funny. Alright, let's continue our search. I think, if I remember correctly... Okay, I did not want to go over there anyway. A uh, game, game, thank you. Alright, uh, game, game, thank you. Alright, let me do some research on where this cave is. 1164... Oh, what? That- this counts as water? Okay, good to know. There's a Rex here, and there's also a Spino. A 135 Rex and a 135 Spino. I am looking for a Spino. I'll keep you in mind. They're both 135, the Rex and the Spino. Okay, where is it? 1164. Oh, hello. Barsboldia. So this is where they spawn. Okay, good to know. Are you guys friendly? So if I just walk right next to you. You don't seem bothered. You do have to shoot these things with a cannon. That's the thing. You know, you're a cool color. You're only a level 20, though, so I'm just gonna kill you real quick. Just so we can make room for more. I do want to tame one of those at some point. Not right now, but at some point. Alright, let's see if we could find 1164. Hello, fellow Pyromane. 55. Oh, we're almost there. We're getting there, we're getting there. We gotta... That's a 130 giga! Okay, we'll have to keep you in mind at some point. Yeah, I'm just gonna mark you on the map. Real quick. Alright, so home base, max level spider, we'll get rid of that. Max level mono, max level rex. I don't think we need that anymore. There we go. So the Giga is literally... I almost mistook you for a T-Rex then. But a 130 Giga would be good too. Alright, we need to find this cave. Alright, so after God knows how many... How long of searching, we finally managed to find this cave. I found the other cave, but I don't want to go in that just yet. I think we do need grappling hooks to get in and out of that cave, or out of that cave anyway. But we're gonna go in... See what this is all about. We need to get an artifact that's in this cave here. Yeah, this this is it. This is definitely it. All right, we got scorpions. We got bugs. We've got all sorts of bad stuff. All right, depending on how long this takes, I might go ahead and tame that 135 Spino. Oh, sorry, Dung Beetle. Thought you were a spider. My bad. Great, we're slowed because of the stupid web. Why would it be this? Great, I'm slow. And I think that's it. I think that's the artifact right there. There's another way over here, so maybe there's like a drop somewhere we could find stuff on. Alright. Excuse me while I take care of the scorpion. Stay right there, buddy. Grab this artifact. There we go. Exploring the cave itself was pretty easy. Finding the damn cave, that was a different story. So I'll probably cut all that out, except for the important stuff, and whatever, like finding that Giga, or... Ooh, there is a drop here. Let me back down, so I'm not falling down. Alright, a better rifle would be good. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Crappy stuff. Let me turn down the gamma. There we go. 
so I could see a little better. Alright, we went on our first cave adventure. So, now that we have some time on our hands, let's see if we can go after that Spino. A 135 Spino? Don't mind if I do. Where's my Archie? 135 Bars Boldia, okay. Let me up the gamma again so I can see that. Now we just got an artifact that we basically need. So, for the the Spino, we just need to look for a patch of water. I think we passed this cave so many times I just never realized. Alright, let's see if we can find that 135 Spino. We don't have the D-Arc anymore, so we won't be able to shoot off the back of a flyer anymore. Which sucks. We will have to use the Pyro main. Is that it? Yep, this is our guy. This is our guy. A 135 Spino. It's not the greatest level, but it could have really good stats. So we're going to go ahead and put you away for now. We've got a really good crossbow, so we should be golden. Alright, Pyromane, just keep tanking them. That's all you gotta do, just keep tanking them. I need Kibble to tank you, don't I? I mean, I should have Prime. We can always just tame you with Prime and see what's up. Or what I could do is just run back to base, get some Kibble, come back with some Kibble, and then we'll tame you with the Kibble. Yeah, that's what we'll do. As long as I have you marked on the map, you should be okay. Alright, stop playing Ring Around the Rosy. And down you go. Awesome. Well, you're going to take like two and a half minutes to wake up. Uh, I don't have any kibble on me. Alright, Raptor, really... Really, you're going to do that to me? Piss off. We could just tame you with Prime for the time being. Because I don't think I'm going to make it back to base in time. I've got 29 Narcotic. That should keep you under for a little bit. You know what? I'll head back home to base... And if this guy wakes up, then whatever. Alright, um, we'll just knock him out again. Alright, Tames in progress. Spino. There we go, now we'll know where it is. Alright, and I'm back with the kibble. Let's, uh, make sure there's nothing here. That could ruin this. Alright, you need just... Oh, no, you need two. You need a couple. Alright, I'm glad I brought a few. You can have all of that. I think your Torpor is dropping. Yeah, it is dropping. I don't have... Oh, no, wait, I do. I'll give you some narcotic. And then I guess I'll see you guys when this Spino is fully tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Spinosaurus has been acquired, and he's stuck on me. Good. All right. All right, so... I'll see you guys back at base, where we'll check the Spino stats out, maybe get a saddle for it, and we should be good to go. Ooh, this yellow drop here. A yellow drop that it just disappeared, and then it reappeared, for whatever reason. Let me just get this yellow drop. It might have some good loot. I haven't been getting really lucky when it comes to loot drops. What's in here? We got Ascendant Serato Saddle, an Ascendant Aloe Saddle, some shotgun ammo, some ammonite vial, and some boots. I mean, the boots I'll take. I'm sure they're better than the boots. Oh yeah, way better. We got some better boots anyway. Well, that's good. Alright, I'll see you guys back at base. And we're officially back at base. So let's head back in. What kind of stats are we dealing with with this Spino? Let's see what goes on here. 
So your stats are 36 points into health. Okay, that's that's decent. 39 into stamina. Oxygen food, no one cares. 31 points into weight and 40 points into melee. Not bad. Not a bad Spino when it comes to stats. You are pretty cool looking. You've got the red and the blue sail and whatever. I wonder if I have a Spino saddle on me. I'm going to have to put some stuff away anyway. I'll see if I've got like a Spino saddle. If not, I can always craft one. Alright, let's see. Saddles. We can craft one right away. Okay. That's convenient. Alright, we've got pretty decent stats on the Spino. I won't level it up simply because, you know, I kind of want to breed you guys up. Alright, so this is us, normal. Okay. All fours. 354 damage. That's without the Vecta Spinus buff. That's without the... That's without the water buff. And then... Right click. Okay, that was a headshot. That was definitely a headshot. Alright, let me see. Without the headshot, what do we do? Let me take a look. 548. That's without a Vecta Spinus. That's without the water buff. That was a 145 turtle. Alright. You know, before we do the water buff thing, I'd like to see if we can, you know, like, uh, get the Vecta Spinus. We'll test the Vecta Spinus without the water buff, and then we'll test it with the water buff. That's what we'll do, because the Vecta Spinus is pretty much the Uterenus when it comes to Spinos. Alright, so you stay right there for now. I'm just gonna go and, uh, get a Vecta Spinus. A random Vecta Spinus. Alright, here's the Vecta Spinus. Now, this guy is basically... I forgot to put two eggs away. Eh, whatever. So basically what this guy does is he buffs the Spinos. Actually, we want him to follow the Spino. And then I think it's C to allow the Spino buff to happen. So we're going to take the Vecta Spinus and the... Wow, you are slow. Alright, Turtle might not be the best thing in the world. Alistro, alright. Alistro and a Dodo isn't the, the bad solution. We'll take this Vecta Spinus out. We'll do the buff. Alright, so that's the buff. With the left click, we do 456. And with the right click, 685. That's really good. That is honestly really good. Now, if we have that with the water buff, plus the water buff, the right, the left click, the bite 525 and the and the swipe 787 okay the combination of the vecta spinus and the spino really good it makes the spino really good okay i like this and we got one with like really good stats so even if we get a female with terrible stats then we can mix the two together, see if we can get the perfect stats for the, for the Spino. Alright, Vector Spinus, don't get stuck on a rock. Please. Luckily, we had spare Vector Spinus, because those two were the breeding ones. Alright. Now, to end the episode off, I would like to, you know what? Just so we have a Vecta Spinus in the base, you can stay in the base. And then the Spino? I guess you can go here. Well, it looks like we have a an extra spare random pyromate somewhere. Wait, did you get a mutation? You did get a couple mut You got a health mutation? Did you get a double mutation? Hmm, I doubt it got some purple. Wait, what mutation was that into? Let me, let me take a look. That was a health mutation. That 
That works. That actually works. Okay, let me give you some. I guess food. Mufasa's got plenty of food. Alright, we're gonna end the episode off by doing some more hatching. Then I'm gonna clean everything up and see what goes on. Alright. We're running out of gasoline. I might get some wind turbines at some point. Alright, so for the Vectus Finest, we are looking for 209 for mutated ones. Two oh no 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 two oh nine. We do have a mutation. We have a health mutation. Okay, all right. And what about Vecta Spinus? You know, I might get a couple more females. These females here. So we ended up getting a health mutation with this guy. So you know what? Which one's the male? You can go away. I might need to make a bigger pen at some point. I'll put you away for now. And as for the Rexes, let's see if we get lucky and maybe get a couple more females. Alright. Rex. So we're looking for, I think, a 242. Alright. We got two 240s. Are right, we looking for 242 with these guys? That's how we know we get a mutation. 242. We got a couple. We got a health mutation. Let's go. And what are you? A weight mutation. Hmm. All right. Well, we got a couple of mutations. So we got weight, weight, weight. So we got four weight mutations and a uh, few oxygen. So let me just grab a couple more baby Rexes, and then we'll kill the rest. Just so we can get some mutations going. So the male... Which one's the male? You're the male. Won't be needing you anymore. Now that we got our mutated health mutation Rex. That's good. We got a health mutation on both of them. That's pretty amazing. All right. I think I'm going to do some more breeding off camera, and with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It will really help out a ton. Next time, join me again, where we try to tame our first Giga, aka my channel mascot. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.